Hey everyone, this is our first official vlog. Um, so much has been happening in our world over here. As many of you know, we're moving from Australia to America and we are in the thick of our migration, uh, packing boxes everywhere. We got schools launching. It has been a crazy season for us and uh, we wanted to take you guys on the journey of our move to the United States. So where do I begin? So we've been going through all our boxes and belongings and photos and just things that we've collected over the years. And this, it's, it's incredible how much you can collect. There's, it's incredible how much you can begin to store up and not even realize. And this has been a season that God's really been saying to us uh, and many around the world, like, you need to let go. And many right now are at this place where God's saying, um, will you let go of the things that have happened to you? You know, um, sometimes we want to feel like we can validate, um, you know, our, se our season of being a victim because it's like, well, no one else, you know, no one said sorry. No one, no one really saw the pain I went through. So the, sometimes you want to hold on to the baggage. You want to hold on to those things. And the Lord is saying to you today, it's okay to let go. Like, I'm going to be your vindicator. I'm going to be the one that, that resolves that. But it's time for you now to let go. Your baggage and everything you've been carrying, it's now time for you to finally let go of those things. And there's a scripture that says, cast all your cares and your burdens on him. We can become so accustomed to the season we're being in that God has to violently shake us into to embracing this new thing and letting go of the thing that we've actually walked through and collected the baggage uh, you know the different things that we've allowed that the mindsets we've even carried on right now God is asking us to let go of those things in Leviticus 26 10 it says uh, you know uh, the that the barn must be emptied out to make room for the new and right now uh, it feels like God's emptying us out right now he's 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 wanting us whole and free as we step into this new season he doesn't want us full of fear he doesn't want us constantly looking for the next thing that's going to take us out. He doesn't want us feeling defeated or broken. That's not what he wants for us. Just the other day, I was looking through our garage and um, I found uh, I found a guitar in there that I haven't looked at in a while. And when I was 17 years old, I was given this guitar. I I, I remember the Lord would say to me, um, you know, Nate, strum your harp, just like David, you know, and I I wage war in this guitar. This guitar like took me through some breakthroughs in my life when I was completely alone and I it was just me and the Lord. It was like it was a guitar that I encountered the Lord on and um, many many years later I lent it to a friend and it got broken beyond repair and it grieved me. I know it's an inanimate object but it grieved me because this guitar it took me through this journey and this process you know and um, I saw this guitar and I knew I needed to get rid of it. I couldn't bring it with us. Can't bring it with us to America. I've got another guitar now. Why am I holding on to this thing? It's stupid, you know, but he said, Nate, it's time for you to let go. It's time for you to let go. And so it's something that he's corporately and sovereignly saying uh, across the earth right now. You know, we're in a new era. We're in a new decade. We're stepping into a new decade. And the Lord would say to you today, um, will you Will you let me now take care of that stuff? Will you now allow me to, to take that baggage you've been holding? Because now... I want you to step into this new season completely free and completely whole. He's delivering people right now. Even as you're watching this, he's setting you free. That pain, I just think there's people with bitterness and there's, there's anger and there's just so much because people have hurt you and seasons have been terrible to you and there's been so much disappointment. The Lord would say, just will you let it go to me? Would you give it to me today? Will you allow me now to take over that thing? And you watch that I will, I will bring breakthrough. I will bring recompense to those areas of your life and those seasons that didn't end well. And so I hope that encourages you guys. Um, keep following our journey. And uh, over the next few weeks, we're going to be sharing more about uh, the journey we've been on. And keep following, keep praying for us, guys. And we'll talk to you soon. Who's there? Cat. Cat who? Catch you later. <laughs>